hello everybody in this tutorial I am teach about advanced commands we can use terminal in Ubuntu first command grep grep command means globally search for expressions it means that searches the given file for a lines containing a match to the given string or words like uh, simple example grep space our user shikan space forward etc space password it showing how many words in name password file in srikant user okay this is grep command how to use here grep is a unix filters like f grep means file grep and then egrep it means searching files how many files is there in our user we have a thousand files is there okay this is the search globally search here using bash commands okay after that find command how to use find command type find then showing all files search for files in the given directory hierarchically starting at the parent directory ok here showing the parent directory desktop script dot dot sh file is also like all hierarchical structure subdirectory files is showing by using find command after that man man command is a manual pager it means it provide online documentation for all the possible options with command a how to use man command man space man it's showing online document for man command okay then q quit after that service in windows service also and service also directly start in services here ubuntu service also run in command by using service space we need a uh, we need start apache tomcat so apache 2 space start this command use for apache tomcat service server will start the apache server like that if you have some privilege issue so it does password also ok if you need some service restart like uh, apache 2 restart or stop these commands are using in services okay so some privilege issues sorry okay after that df df command is how the report disk uses of file system how much memory you utilize okay df works by directory entries okay directory entries how much report disk usage of file system df also very very important after that echo echo is a like uh, print in print of in c uh, print in java like that echo double quotes what you need advanced command okay we print advanced command is a text on the standard output it has nothing to do with the shell nor del nor does shell reads the output of echo command it's interactive of script it means like that sometimes it use scripting language like uh, shell scripting also using echo like scanf uh, sorry printf 
ओके क्लियर इट आफ्टर दैट पासवर्ड पासवर्ड मीन्स वी चेंज आवर पासवर्ड लाइक इफ यू एंटर करंट पासवर्ड आफ्टर द एंटर न्यू पासवर्ड इफ यू नॉट एंटर यू न्यू यू नीड चेंज पासवर्ड देन यूज पी एस एस डब्ल्यू डी ओके टाइप पासवर्ड इज अपडेटेड आफ्टर दैट डब्ल्यू गेट इट्स ए फ्री यूटिलिटी फॉर नॉन इंटरक्टिव download files from websites not for a http yes not a security website it support only http i think uh, w get space minus m download some like uh, movies movies.com we download all the files w gets w get space minus m which website you want downloaded directly enter we need comments tech dot com so he'll this is the response of w get command okay control c for cancelizations after that w get we need some process right PS command is the process given the status of running process with unique ID. It's called PID. PS is the PID. It's a process unique ID to list status of all the process along with uh, some process IDs. Okay, that's the processor after that where is where is also very very important command where is command is used to locate the binary sources and manual pages of the command for example to locate the binary source and manual pages of the command by using where is ls showing go to cd desktop where is ls here the showing binary files okay binary locations that is the where is, is ls if you kill the location where is kill is the command for the command for the binary files okay this is the very skill and very ls after that we need some nowadays c program also very famous and java programs also very famous so how do command prompt oh sorry terminal using in ubuntu how to run c program simply write a simple C program advanced commands okay this is the C program then save it then how to compile in terminal using GCC command okay GCC is a inbuilt compiler to C language GCC GCC space H dot C we got some a dot out now this is c file output then how to run it 
dot slash a dot out this is the output advanced commands we are using gcc gcc is the inbuilt command for inbuilt compiler for c language in linux environment after that simply how to java okay java also like uh, java sp how to java compile java c space file name dot dot java this is the compilation then how to run java space file name this is the run the file uh, java file in linux system okay after that one simple commands little bit tricky but mkdr how to file creation in desktop mkdr folder name folder name is advanced okay here advanced folder is creator mkdr means make a directory it's give our folder name something folder name which mkdr space file name we enter automatically come the file create a new folder after that clear sorry clear mkdr using concatenations cat cat is also very important cat space we type some dot txt file w dot txt this is advanced topics okay save it cat is a concatenation command so cat space sorry cat space w dot txt so in file what is we write then it's showing automatically hi this is advanced command cat is a concatenation and showing view say view sum of text or code from your script okay sometimes it's used concatenation also okay thank you thank you for watching please subscribe or like or comment thank you if you have any doubts, go to comments tech.